Well, last night we told you how robots have started delivering takeaways in South East London. Tonight we bring you the hospital that is using them to clean the wards. The Queen's Hospital in Romford, no less, is the first in the country to use them. Two disinfecting robots called Rosie and Mavis can apparently kill far more bacteria than their human counterparts. Jenny Longdon has a story. There are few places where cleanliness is more important than in a hospital bedroom where superbugs can easily spread. But it seems old-fashioned disinfectants are no longer cutting it on their own. This Romford hospital has brought in robots that use UV technology to kill off harmful bacteria. Germ zapping robots, <laughs> yes. It uses UVC, um, the xenon lamps produce the, um, the ultraviolet light, which is high intensity, and it, it literally zaps the bacteria, the spores and the viruses. Hospital cleaner Mavis Dickel was so impressed with the new technology that one of the robots was named after her. How can I explain it? It's one of the wonders of the world because it's doing a lot of the things what we haven't been able to do before, you know. It's been named after you. Are you concerned it's going to take your job too? No, no. There's still plenty for us to do in a hospital that is so busy. Because the UV light from the robot kills DNA, it's unsafe for humans to stay in a room while it's working. In just five minutes, it kills off 70% of bacteria and has been shown to reduce cases of deadly viruses in the United States, where the technology is widely used. There is the introduction of the machine and a decline in the rates that we're seeing. So that leads us to assume that we are using the machine and it's having a positive impact on what we're doing here. At £100,000 per machine, they aren't cheap, but could save money on treating infections. If they're a success here in Essex, they could be rolled out across the NHS. Jenny Longdon, ITV News.